How are you? This is Jane108. I'm here again to reveal another really special revelation hidden within the living mathematics of nature. I did a little talk last month on the Fibonacci 60 code and embedded within the Fibonacci sequence is a really special um, coding and called the harmonic 1111 and harmonic 6666 and they're embedded within what we call the Fibonacci 60 clock or 60 code. So um, before I reveal how I get this discovery, um, I would like to give a little explanation about how we get the 60 code because that was already given to us from France by Lagrange in about 1794. So the title of this talk is called Jane's Realization on the 60 code. We're gonna be talking about what are quad numbers. We don't know what they are yet, but quad numbers that sum to 66,660. And in harmonic maths, we're allowed to drop the zero, and that's how we got harmonic 6666. So as a summary, it's called the revelation of the harmonic 1111 and harmonic 6666. Okay, so when I, when I first talked about the Fibonacci code, we looked at the final digits. So here are the Fibonacci numbers. They go 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. But when we get to 13, we look at the final digits. So we record 3. When we get to 21, we look at the last digit 1. And you can see here when you get to 34, we record the last digit, which is a 4. It's like, it's called continue, continued subtraction of 10, 10, 10. So take any number. So the Fibonacci number 144. If you take away 10, 10, 10, you're left basically with the final digit. So what we're looking for is called uh, repetition. We're looking for repeatability. So I've highlighted all the, fib the final digits of the Fibonacci. So here we're up to 35. And on the next slide, you can see where does it repeat. So you can see here on the 60th Fibonacci number, it's a huge number. See, the last digit is a zero. So when we go to the 61st digit, we realize that the final digits re that repeat every 60 digit, the, the cycle begins again. So we've got one, one, two, three, five, eight, three, one, four, five, etc. So we found that there's an infinitely repeating 60 pattern. And when we write the 60 code or clock in two rows of 30 down here, you can see that we've got 30 of the digits here and 30 below and all the pairs add up to 9 add up to 10 10 10 10 so this was discussed and discussed in the previous uh discussion and also did you notice that the 72nd fibonacci number the 72nd fibonacci number here is a big really huge number if you add up all the digits it adds up to the number 72 because it's the F72, Fib72, has all its digits adding up to 72. And also, it's the number 6 cubed, 216. If you look at the 216th Fibonacci number, add up all the digits, it all adds up to 216 as well. And this was taken from an encyclopedia um, by N.J.A. Sloan, uh, a colleague, someone I work with, Sloan. He has an online encyclopedia. And this was recorded in 1964, this pattern of the 72 and 216. So, so I decided to put with all those 60 repeating digits, there's an infinite cycle of 60 digits, I've decided to make it as a sticker. And you can see here, on the outside rim we've got the 60 digits, and every fifth Fibonacci number is divisible by 5 or ends in a 0. So that's the outer rim is the 60 code. But if you look inside, there's a, there's a 24 code. If you look on this darker blue rim here, where it goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 4, 3, 7, 1, 8, 9, that's an infinitely repeating 24 code. So we've got a 24 code based on subtraction from 9, and the outer rim is a 60 code based on subtraction from 10. So this is something that you can peel off and put on your glass to get this vibration. It's a decal. So it's been, we've done it here again. So here's the same 60 digits. We're focusing on the 60 repeating digits. And you notice that every fifth digit is divisible by five or ends in a zero. So you see the 12 rays here. What I'm interested in is the gap between the 12 rays. 
So now let's look at the numbers between the zero and the five. What numbers do we have? We have one, one, two, three. And I'm calling this a quad number, which means why don't we think of the one, one, two, three as an actual number like 1,123. So I've recorded it here, one, one, two, three. And then I look at the next set of quad numbers. You've got eight, three, one, four, eight, three, one, four. It's like when you're dancing, a good dancer will say, it's not the actual steps, it's the space in between the steps that makes a good dancer. So we're looking at the space between the 12 rate cross and the 60 code. So let's have a look at this observation here. If we look at all the um, opposite pairs, so with the quad number one, one, two, three, I go diagonally opposite. So I look at the quad numbers that are opposing these four and it happens to be seven, eight, nine, nine. Whoops. So here we've, so look, let's look at the two opposing pairs. We've got these two. So if you added up one, one, two, three and 9,987, what do you think they would add up to? It would add up to 11,110. That's one, 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 zero. You drop the zero and you end up with four ones. So all these opposite pairs, like eight, three, one, four, plus its opposite, um, plus its opposite. So eight, three, one, four, plus it's opposite here, 6972, um, they all have unique properties. If you added up all these 12 pairs, if you added up all these 12 quad numbers, the, the, the final sum happens to be 66,666. 66, 66,000, um, actually this, this meant, this is, meant to be, I'll just go back there, there was a, okay, I'll just go, I made a little error, Here, here's the same, here's the same thing as a mural, I've got the, all the quad numbers highlighted in black here, and you can see um, 7,741 added to its opposite, 3,369, it all adds up to 11,000, 110 you can see the number here and in harmonic maths we drop the zero and it becomes harmonic one 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 so that's why i'm calling it that title and you can see here on the on the calculator here on the calculator i'm basically saying if you add up these 12 sets of quad numbers the final total is 66,660. yeah so i find that quite amazing in terms of number theory I, 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 the, the, the chances or the probability of all these numbers in this clock of 60 having a, a harmonic value of 11,110 and a total value of 66,660 is quite unique and special. It's very rare. So this is what I call like a, a mathematical diamond or a gem. And the reason why I share this is um, it's never been published or even discussed before. A lot of people are looking at the 60 clock but something guided me just to add up these numbers that were in the spaces that people wouldn't normally concentrate on. So the reason why I love number theory is that I want to be able to share this with the youth so that they uh, gravitate towards the beauty of investigating numbers sequences. So the, the ultimate sequence is the um, Fibonacci code. Um, you can see here, I've just to conclude, I've... Um, I went on to the online encyclopedia of integer sequences by Sloan, and you can see that he recorded um, the 72 and the 216 as the numbers that whose digits in the Fibonacci sequence add up to itself. So 72 and 216 are very are harmonic numbers because they all add up to nine. 72 is nine, 216 is nine. So this has all been recorded by previous scholars. And then I decided to look at in the 60 digits, we know there's 60 digits in the clock. What are the recurrences the, or the occurrences of, say, say the number one, for example? There's a one, we've got eight ones. How many zeros? There's four. How many twos are there? There's four. And how many threes? There's eight. And you can see that even the repetition of the numbers from one to nine, including zero, they go in a pattern. There's four, then eight, four, eight, four, eight. It's not an important thing, but it's still a symmetry of odd numbers and even numbers. 
And I recorded the 60 wheel in my book for children. So this is a workbook on the golden ratio called um, the, the, the Divine Proportion. So the title here is called The Divine Proportion. And I also, also made reference to this book in the Book of Five, Volume 3. So this has all been done in around the year 2000. So that's the workbook here, which is great for children 12 years and older, so they can appreciate it. Um, and the Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3, where the Wheel of 60 first appeared, is a nine-book encyclopedia. So... I'm basically um, making sure that all this lost knowledge on the Fibonacci code is coming back into existence. So this is part of the 108 Academy. Um, it's my passion and joy to share this knowledge and I hope it inspires you. Thanks for now. Bye.